Hey, my name is Stacia and you're watching Torn Freak TV. Today let's take a look at File Soup Investigation, Swedish Pirate Party once again shocking Sweden, uTorrent getting apps, and Rapid Share taking over other websites. All this and more coming up in 7 seconds. File Soup was a UK based torrent related website which started in 2003. It has not operated a torrent tracker in the last five years and it barely hosted any torrents. In 2009, the two administrators of the website got their houses raided and their computers seized. The investigation was led by the Federation Against Copyright Theft, who is also the driving force behind the case and is responsible for gathering the intelligence. FACT is also in possession of the seized computers. Weirdly enough, FACT is a private anti-piracy group and one should wonder how this can be legal. The two administrators of the file soup have been charged with conspiracy to infringe copyright. In the beginning of July, Swedish Pirate Party shocked the world when they announced that they will use their parliamentary immunity and host the Pirate Bay from inside the parliament. Now the party has made another shocking announcement. They are entering the world of internet service providers. Pirate Party is going to work together with technology partners with whom it will enter the broadband ISP market and deliver consumer services with its ideas. One of the ideas is complete anonymity. A while ago, uTorrent launched uTorrent Apps, a web-based framework that adds new functionality to the popular BitTorrent client. uTorrent is now hosting a challenge where they want developers to create the best apps they can think of, and the best one will be awarded US$1,000. A lot of TorrentFreak.com readers seem to be outraged by this and claim that they will make the application slower. Installing any additional apps in your uTorrent client is completely up to you, and you're not forced to use anything on top of your uTorrent. Some people also claim that it is impossible to learn the new programming language just for uTorrent. All the apps written consist entirely of HTML and JavaScript, which makes the coding pretty simple. The challenge closes Friday, August 13, 2010. RapidShare announced collaboration with the entertainment industry and has pledged to increasingly terminate the accounts of persistent copyright infringers. RapidShare has now gone even further and went after websites which are using their name. Funny enough, RapidShare, who is mostly used for copyright infringements, is worried about its name getting used. RapidShare stated that they have gone after these domains due to their trademark being used to encourage illegal downloading. According to the World Intellectual Property Organization, RapidShare has successfully taken control over more than two dozen domains and they are aiming for more of the seized computers. Weirdly enough, FACT is a private anti-piracy group and one should wonder how this can be legal. Ugh. 